Now this is a fun one and it's super fast. We're gonna use a Python hacking tool to find social media accounts. And I'll show you in five minutes. Here we go. Now disclaimer, don't do this to anyone with ill intent. This is a legit hacking tool, part of the hacking process called OSINT, where we gather information about our hacking targets. Now what we're doing is not technically illegal, we're just gathering publicly available information on the internet. But the lines can blur based on your intentions, so just be careful, use this as a learning tool. But beyond that, man, let's start hacking. And speaking of hacking, let's make sure we hack that YouTube algorithm today. Smash that like button if you do like the video, of course. Subscribe, notification bell, comment, all that stuff. Let's hack YouTube. Ethically, of course. Anyways, here we go. Now, the best part about this is that you don't need anything to do it. All you need is a web browser. In fact, if you're watching this video, you can do it from your phone. It's really cool. Now, this tool, you can install it on Kali. Like, you can. It's a tool called Sherlock, and all you need is Python 3 installed on a Linux distribution can be Kali, can be Parrot, can be Ubuntu, whatever. Or it can be nothing, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Step one, let's go to GitHub. I got that link in the description. Let's go to the Sherlock tool. Now if I scroll down to about here and zoom in a bit. On a Linux machine, you'll just run these commands and you're solid. Or, or, this is amazing, just click on open in Google Cloud Shell. It's free, just click on it right now. Log into your Google account, you'll need that. Who doesn't have one of those, seriously? Click agree and start your cloud shell. Now this is actually launching in Google's cloud platform. Now don't worry, you're not paying anything for this. It's free, it's, just, it's a cool thing they do. You're getting a free Linux machine to play around with right now. And look at it, there it goes, there it is. Now for step two, we're going to install the requirements. Now it's just one command, no big deal, no worries. In fact, you can go back here and copy the command. It's just right here, python 3 m pip install r requirements.txt. Copy that, I'll hit control V to paste, and boom, it's in there, I'm gonna hit enter and it's installing my requirements right now, it's going. And that's it, the tool's ready, we are ready, in Google Cloud, completely free. Isn't that amazing? It is, thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's start using Sherlock to find social media accounts. Now we'll only need one thing, a username, someone we want to find. I've got a few people in mind. Now first, let me show you how to get some help. So we'll enter Python 3, Sherlock, dash dash, help. And it tells you how to use it, all that good stuff. And now I'll show you how to use it right now. We'll again type in Python 3, Sherlock, and then simply we'll put the username of the person we're trying to find in there. The first one I wanna do is Nahamsek. He's a well-known hacker, he's been on the channel. If you don't follow him, go follow him. In fact, Nahamcon, I think is how you say it, is coming up pretty soon. Anyways, all in good fun. That's all I do, I'm gonna hit enter and watch the magic happen. It's gonna go through all the well-known social media websites and see if Nahamsek actually has an account on these places, on these account places, sites, <laughs> sites. I can't talk today. Now notice it's going kind of slow. It kind of stopped at chess. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna hit control C to interrupt that business. I'm gonna speed things up a bit. So just after Sherlock, I'm gonna add the command dash dash timeout and add in a one. So it's only going to spend one second per website. Anyways, here we go. Go, much faster, much better. And it's done. I can now see all the social media websites that Nahamsek might have an account on. Now again, this information is public, but if you are hacking someone or a company legally with permission, of course, that's the only way you can do it. That's the only way you're allowed to do it. But in the case that you're doing that, gathering information like this could lead to possible vulnerabilities, possible footholds. Let's do someone else. Now if I type in ls in this directory, I can see that it also produced a file for me. Where'd it go? There it is, nahamsek.txt. If I look at that file, it saved my results. And I can see all his sites. Apparently he plays chess. Hmm, we can use that against him. Let's try someone else. Python 3, Sherlock, dash dash timeout, one, and we'll do, um, let's do the Cyber Mentor. Another awesome, well-known hacker. Let's try it now. Bam, we got all his info. Let's try someone else. Let's try John Hammond. Another amazing hacker, and go. Now it's saying they all have chess accounts. I doubt they actually do. Let me go see. Yeah, that's, bo that's bogus. So it's not perfect. And that was Sherlock, an amazing Python hacking tool we can use to find social media accounts, information on our hacking targets. Now again, don't use this with ill intent. Use it to learn, have a bit of fun with it, but if you're seriously trying to hack someone or a company, make sure you have explicit permission. I'm talking like they hired you, there's a contract, the whole nine yards. Otherwise, you could get into trouble. Anyways, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys later.